So to start off on this bag, I'm just sketching out how I want the tree to look with a pen. Uh, any mistakes will be painted over later, so those aren't a big deal right now. I'm just putting in the place where I want the branches and the base of the tree. Now that the tree is mostly sketched out, I'm going to outline it with my little paint pot using some white Angelus leather paint uh, diluted with some Too Soft. I used to stick to put it in the paint pot because it prevents air bubbles, prevents waste from any paint that's left in the brush, uh, reduces wear on your brush, and it's just easier to control from the tip of the, the stick putting it into the pot. Did the gold it's got a good layer on there you can see some of the black and the white lines from underneath it but that's okay we're going to paint those and shade them so you're not going to be able to see them later so what we're going to do is take our leftover gold there wasn't very much in there uh, we're going to take that and we're going to add in some rose gold which is the next darkest shade that i have for the metallics and then we'll work up to a copper and then we'll work up to a metallic bronze and basically what we're going to do is go along these lines that we drew and we're gonna start shading behind them to give definition. So stay tuned, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I must have touched the camera on the phone because I got super blurry for the next few minutes, but basically I'm going in with my stick, I'm mixing my paint really well. The too soft and paint tend to separate if you let them uh, just sit too long. So every time I use it, I make sure that I mix those up. And then I use the stick to put it in the paint pot to prevent air bubbles. Now that we have the paint in our paint pot, we're just going to go and outline over those white lines that we initially did. I did them in white because white's obviously easier to cover up than black. Uh, but once the lines look good and the shading look good, I'm just going to go back now and define some of those lines with the black. So it just makes part of the, the different parts of the tree stand out um, from the other parts. so it kind of blended in with the other metallics and didn't stand out as a bold black. So I'm going in and I'm just mixing again with my stick, make sure everything's good and incorporated. And I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to start shading behind the different parts just so that you can see the, the front of the branches, the back of the branches, and the different areas of the tree. tree 
is done, I'm going to go back with some neons. We're going to add in some leaves. I've turned my black light on so I can see how vibrant the colors are to see how much you need to layer them. Again, make sure you're using multiple thin coats and letting those dry in between using your heat gun if you need to. I decided I wanted it to look like the leaves were fire. Not like the tree was on fire, but the leaves themselves were fire. So I opted to use a dark orange, a dark pink, and a yellow, and then threw a couple green leaves in as well. finished tree before we added the leaves. Make sure to like and subscribe for part two.